allow me to introduce our special guests to the uh, little collab here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this in reverse order because every one of the tweets are in are in uh, alphabetical order. So I'm going to do reverse al alphabetical order because that's where y'all are hanging on the wall. Uh, <clears throat> uh, first. Oh, or I'll just wait for this to stop making noise. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, okay. I think y'all blew up Streamlabs. That's the goal. Is it? Is it done? Can I talk? Got it. Can I talk? <laughs> can, can I continue? Anyway, Streamlabs, you're so rude. I, I got the I got the notifications. Oh my god! Wait, hold on. Uh, thank you for the follow. Slick the original. All right. As I was saying, uh, we have uh, our special guests. The wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Senny's streaming right now. What happened? Oh, hello, Tene. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Matcha, thank you for the sub to Senny. I was like, how did she sub? She's streaming right now. <laughs> Um, anyway, I okay. sub to people while I'm streaming all the time. <laughs> I will have to be aware of that now. Uh, anyway, so introducing our special guests here, we have the uh, the the oh my god, what was the marvelous Moon Spirit, uh, Rhea uh, Aitken, uh, and their pronouns are they them. Uh, uh. And then we have the uh, we have the outstanding orb shaped chinchilla, uh, matcha arts, uh, they them. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to remember what I gave you guys, like what I gave your descriptors. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to think. Uh, and then we also have the beautiful and just Judgment Scythe, uh, pronouns she, her. Uh, we have Hi. <laughs> we have the spectacular and potentially socially awkward Gomri Shravtal, uh, and the pronouns are he, him. Hello. And then we also have the bombastic badass. Fox bomb. Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know what happened there. Pronouns are him, <laughs> as I'm having having uh, having some kind of verbal problem. That's me. Uh, and then we also have the uh, the fabulous and fantastic florist fox VTuber Clover and Nari. Uh, pronouns they them. Howdy. Uh, and then I have uh, the the coolest coconut uh, Capum Trevo. Uh, Pronouns he him. To me. Okay, so uh, we are going to be starting out with a little improv game, uh, and I'm dumb because I did not grab dice for this. But uh, I had, I can fix this. I'm gonna pull up a, a dice thing, dice app. Ooh, I love dice. All right. So the game is called Scenes on a Whim. Uh, just like many many improv games, you will be given a prompt. Uh, but there are a couple of rules uh, that are changes up a little bit. The rules being uh, your pro, your imp. <laughs> you got your it. your prompt. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, Talthar. Your prompt will be decided by a roll of a d20. We have 20 prompts, uh, and uh, any of them could be the prompt that you have to do. Um, now, there are two choices you have. You can either do a monologue, which is, you know, simple. It's just you and your audience. Um, or you can choose to randomly choose another another guest to do a dialogue with. What? There's a 3D dice simulator? Okay, sorry. I got a little distracted. I didn't realize there were <clears throat> so many dice simulators. Um... <clears throat> Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Hoya. Um, and then, uh, uh, once you've selected which which one you want to do, either the the monologue or dialogue, I will open up the scene with narration. Uh, you'll have as much preparation as you need, but as soon as one, if you're doing dialogue, of course, but as soon as one of you starts performing, you will have to continue on the scene. There will be no more prep time. Uh, so is everyone getting the rules a little bit yeah uh, and then there's one other little thing is that uh depending on how the scene is played out uh if if uh if it's going well uh the narrator may decide that there was a plot twist uh and then you have to you have to 
pivot the scene based off of the plot twist. All right, so let me get this dice thing ro rolling. So we can either do it ourselves or we can choose someone else to do it with. Yes. Basically. Yes. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Um, um, as, also, as a disclaimer, if, if you don't feel comfortable <laughs> being the partner, you can you could decline the challenge. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's it's. I, I promise the prompts aren't too 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 uh, too crazy. So, all right, let me get this D twenty. Is this the one that'll work? There was a three D one that was like three D dice simulator, and I don't. Ooh. Know how to use that. Yeah, it looked weird though. So I was. Oh, wow, that, that that was loud. This is a loud one. How, how do I turn the volume down on that guy? Okay, so I have I have a I have a uh, D twenty. It's not gonna be blue. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go down uh, with uh, uh, with reverse order. So so uh, Rhea, you're the first you're the first one on the uh, on the docket. And I'm gonna roll. Question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I get a charisma modifier? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, depends. Depends. Uh, depends on what you're Do what you you're trying to you? charisma. <laughs> um, if it's to avoid plot twists, then then sure, sure, uh, sure. Um, it is all all all, uh, all all dependent on the uh, the dice roll, though. All right, so let me roll the dice. Oh, I should probably do the count. Oh my god, that is so loud. I wish I could. There's no volume bar on that, so I can't change it. Super annoying. Uh, let me get the proper. There we go. So that's not. You got one, by the way. That was, I rolled one for you. So that was. Nat pretty... one. Let's go. That's what he, let's go. <laughs> that's what he hey. said. Uh, so so you have a monologue choice and a dialogue choice. Which would you like to do? Wait. Uh. A server talking about the happy hour menu in today's specials while trying to make guests go somewhere else. Yeah, so that's the that's the <laughs> so that is the di that is the monologue one. I will uh, give me a second and I can give you the I'll give you the dialogue choice. Ugh. that's the dialogue choice. Okay, well I worked in a restaurant for seven years, so I might have some oh, some experience I? with that. Should I? No. I okay, what's said. the other one? Uh, so the other one is checking IDs for a club in a fantasy land. This is uh, just me playing Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds too complicated for my brain. So let's go. No, let's go for the first okay, one. Okay. 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 Let me. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to start? I'll, I'll start the narration. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> A family enters a restaurant, hoping to prop potentially eat a, eat a new meal and enjoy a nice evening out. They don't have these quite often. And they are suddenly greeted by their server. Hi, how's everyone doing? Um, welcome to uh, Rough and Box. Uh, my name is Rhea. I'll be your server tonight. Um, tonight's specials are uh, Trogold Oysters, um, even though we don't have anyone to make them and uh a oyster rockefeller as well even though i just said we don't have anyone to make them and um it, it, anything uh on the menu uh catching your fancy uh, uh can you repeat those specials again and 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 do you have a child's menu by chance <sighs> it's fine I go off and get a child's menu and come back all right, here's our child's menu. Um, our, our specials, again, are oysters, uh, raw oysters, and oysters Rockefeller. Um, if you look over to our oyster bar, we have no one to make them, uh, <laughs> gosh. Uh, which is great. It's great. Uh, gosh, like there's a place right over there, literally right over there. I mean... Um, uh, so yeah, so uh, raw oysters, oysters Rockefeller. Um, here's your kids' menu. <laughs> okay, I think that was that was pretty good. 
<laughs> I like how you're like, a, you were like, there's no one to make them. There's absolutely no one to make these specials. <laughs> Just don't I'm eat them. I'm not yeah. speaking from experience at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nicely done, nicely done. All right, so uh, next up is Matcha. Thank you for the, hold on. Thank you for the follow, Breadboxer04. All right, and then let's roll the dice for you. Wait, why did you change the six-sided? I want a 20-sided dice. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. boy. Okay, so your, your roll was nine. Uh, nine. Oh. Nine. Not too bad. Not not uh, not a critical failure. Um, so your first prompt uh, for monologue is a defense lawyer for superheroes and supervillains. Or... Or... Two people who take cover behind the same wall and strike up a conversation. Hmm. Oh, these are really tough. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I will take uh, the, it was, what was it, the defense lawyer? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So the defense lawyer, so, so do I get to pick, like, or do I just have to? It's like the whole like superheroes. Uh, you can decide if you you can decide if you are defending a superhero or a supervillain. I oh, uh, that yeah. Okay, okay. I didn't want to I didn't okay. want to limit it to supervillains because they're very hard to defend against or defend for. True, true. Okay. All right. Have you decided which one or then uh, what are you gonna we'll do? Go, I think we'll go with superheroes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> We, we enter the scene where there is a heated battle in a defense in a defense court. The people versus uh, versus the the <laughs> the world-renowned superhero that just saved the day, but possibly also destroyed many many buildings in the process. Ladies and gentlemen and non-binaries of the jury and your honor, my name is Will E. Wright. Now, I'm here today to defend my client who will only and only be going by the name of Superman, not trademarked by any means. Now listen, I know that my client has been doing his absolute best. He is trying to protect the trifecta area, the all of men, women, and children that have been plagued by many atrocities, which are not limited to supervillains, natural disasters, corporate issues. Okay, listen, I know that the defense team is looking to, or the uh, prosecuting team is looking for several million dollars of damage that wants to be paid by my client but let me just say he did nothing wrong okay he blocked himself from a falling debris from a building to protect an eight-year-old boy who just so happens to be his fan honestly very admirable i find it just absolutely corrupt and greedy that these that all of these like several hundreds of people are looking to get money all because they ended up getting a broken arm like honestly if if it happened again and there's nobody around to be saved what would superman do he'd be out of a job he'd be broke penniless like honestly do we have this right to to basically charge this man? No, he did not do the crimes. Society has done the crimes for him. Plot and twist. I'm gonna throw in a plot <laughs> twist. <laughs> <laughs> the district attorney presents the evidence that shows several of the buildings that was destroyed also happen to be an orphanage, an animal shelter, and a home for the lesser fortunate. Now, when we say, now when we say that an orphanage was destroyed, might I remind you that the Superman was also from 
an orphanage that was also damaged by another superhero. But did he turn out to be awful? No. No, he did his best. He saved all of the children. Imagine, you want us to fix an orphanage just because it was having their roof torn off of the building. They're all of the children are fine. None of them were injured. Why would we have to pay damages? I believe it is the orphanage's right to pay for their own damages. Have you ever checked in with their building code lately? I would have to start looking into that. I don't think you have the receipts. Uh -oh. <laughs> you do not have uh, okay. the receipts. Okay, okay. I'm gonna cut you off there, Macha. <laughs> <laughs> you you did too well. I was I was I, <laughs> that was, I very, was like very good. I was like I can't believe I'm gonna say like the orphanage should pay for their own shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't believe you brought in the building. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, have you heard of the building? I don't even think that's a sound structure. I don't. I think the city should be investigating the orphanage. <laughs> I was I was hoping to trip you up on that, but you you just took it and and kept going. I I that was that is, oh my god, that is that was great. Um, <clears throat> I was trying hard not to like, laugh in the middle of that. Like this sounds so bad. <laughs> All right, and then uh, up next is gonna be Gomo. Let me uh, let me let me roll the dice. Where's my mouse? Wait, Gomo. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on, no, it's I. I sorry, I. You're right. It's 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 you, Judge. But like, sorry, is I... skipping me? <laughs> no, no, oh, no, no. It's it's the the bigger names get squished together. <laughs> so... Your prompt is you got cutting line. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Stand up for yourself. <laughs> And apparently like, Gomo just keeps cutting in front of me all the time and all right, hold on, hold on. Alright, I right, judgment, hold on. Let me get the dice. <laughs> A friend was holding my spot. <laughs> That's not the twenty sided dice, stupid, stupid thing. Give me the other one. There. Eighteen. Ooh. If this was D D, that's a really good roll. Uh okay, so nope. eighteen. In eighteen. Uh let me see. Uh what the prompts were for eighteen. Uh, 18, uh, so your monologue choice. An animal rescue volunteer trying to convince a family to take a rabid monster. Or... Ooh, ooh, this is good. The dialogue option is, a zookeeper is reading instructions on how to care for an animal while another zookeeper is trying to get the animal under control. Very similar, but a little bit different. I, 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 I like the monologue option there. Okay. <laughs> I have ideas. Okay, okay. I give you give you some prep time and let me know when you are ready to start, and I'll. Uh, I you. I'm ready. <laughs> I have ideas. Okay, okay. <clears throat> a young family, after having a horrible dinner experience, decides to go down to the animal rescue center, and perhaps adopt a young puppy or a nice rabbit, for their young child, to have a nice evening and overall. Well, hello. Come on in. Now, let me take you through to our uh, little section. I I know you're probably after a nice little bunny or a, a cat or whatever, but let me recommend you the best possible pet you could ever ask for. Now, see... Right here, uh, you see in, in this cage out here, I know it's 10 feet tall. Uh, the cage is large, but I can tell you it's worth it. Now, let's, let's take a little visit. Let me open it up for you so you can say hi. To your new friend, um, you you might know him uh, as Sasquatch. Uh, in the snow, he's sometimes known as Yatai. But uh, he's very friendly. I get... stop throwing things. Stop it! Please stop. I'm trying. I'm trying to get you a home. 
Okay. Okay. Okay? He's very friendly. Don't take that as an insult. It's just the way you were looking at him, he sometimes sees that as a, an attack. It could also be the dog bite from my friend Cujo over there. Uh, that's not a dog you want. Uh, you want you want our friend here. Sasquatch is a good friend. I, I know plot, he plot, seems plot angry, but he'll be very fine. They are throwing a plot to us now. Clearly, the father is utterly upset at not only being swindled for dinner, but now being swindled at an animal rescue. And he wants to know what kind of operation this is. Well, I mean, we're an animal shelter. I've, I've already shown you, you know, our good friend Cujo over there. I, I know he seems angry, but he's he's a good dog. But, you know, I, I thought you might be interested in Sasquatch. I mean, look at him. He's big. Sasquatch. He can take care of himself. <laughs> he he likes the he loves the woods and he always is just like He's very good at staying out of the- STOP THROWING THINGS! He's very good at staying out of the way. Like, like, legitimately, when he's out in his native habitat, just try to take a picture of him. He's somehow always, like, y you barely even know he's there. You you'd have to, like, you know, people are like, that's not real. But as you can see, Sasquatch here is very real. Okay. Very real. <laughs> Look, all you'll have to do is take care of the dog bite for a little bit, and he'll probably be just fine. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, I'm going to cut you off there. <laughs> uh, I think I think the uh, the fact that you kept Sasquatch and well, Sasquatch and uh, and uh, Yatai Yatai. I think. I think I think that's what sold it right there. I had to, so I had to, I had to throw something in. Uh, that was really good. Um, let me, let me, uh, all right, now it's Gamma's turn. And then we draw the dice. <laughs> Seven. Oh, oh God, okay, I'm sorry, so, I'm sorry. Okay. No, you're fine. All right, so the options <laughs> for you, Gomo. A monologue is going to be a DJ that is unsure when to drop the beat so they continue to stall. Or... Uh, There we go. The d d dialogue option is two best friends sitting at a bar, and one of them is get trying to get over a bad breakup. You can um, interpret that as much as you'd like. Let's let's go with the, the monologue option. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Are you are you ready, or do you, do you need more prep time? Give me about ten seconds. Okay. No worries. All right. Okay. <clears throat> we find ourselves at a club. Very trendy and popular club. Where a brand new DJ, fresh off the streets, is performing. Shut up. 
Uh, I'll be back later. That was great. So the DJ just completely leaves. <laughs> <laughs> <It's like, laughs> I don't even need to put a plot just on that. That's just that's great. That is that is gold. <laughs> just by <I'm> crying. <laughs> crying. Uh, um. <clears throat> all right. Uh, uh, it is uh, Fox's turn. Uh, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Let's roll the dice. Hello. Thirteen. And apparently, I unlocked a bronze color for dice. Uh, that's weird. Uh, so thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. An imposter trying to convince everyone that they are not the imposter, while they are stabbing the dead body. Or. A hostage situation where the negotiator is surprised at how simple their demands are. Uh, I'll say the first one. Okay. Hold on. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Give me a second. <laughs> we find ourselves in a space station where there are clearly one of them that is an imposter out to murder them all. Uh, yes, this. Yeah, thank you all for coming. Oh, um, yeah, this here. Yeah, no, this is a this is a new medical treatment. It's uh, it's actually helping him. I know he might look unconscious, really, but um, no, no all this red stuff. No, 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 that's uh, that's good. That's good. I got to get this out of his body because um, so then we can put new one. We can put uh, a new one later. We can put the new the new red juice in later. So yeah, that's how. Uh, well, but no, 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 it's not bad. It's not bad. No, 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 trust, 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 no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's um. Yeah, no, the new just yeah, no, no, it's on its way. It's on its way. Trust me. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Trust me. I have, I have a degree. No, oh, trust me. Yeah, ten years. I worked very hard on this. <laughs> yeah, stomach. No, it's yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I need to sub pretty much just everywhere just to cover the whole everything, and then we'll we'll just get him, Plot get him all drained out. Plot twist. <laughs> all right. It seems. That one of the volunteer astronauts is also a forensic scientist. And they can track the blood to the very knife in the imposter's hand. Oh, you also have a degree. No, 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 come here, come here, come here. No, I can show you, I can show you. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. CC, I'll, I'll, I'll do the procedure on him as well. No, it's fine, CC. No, 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 real quick, real quick. Oh, no, 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 see, yeah, see, it's working on him. See, it's fine. Everyone, see, no, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Everything's okay. Like... He will also be okay. He also has no, no, no. See, see, see. Both these people are a okay. Just a couple, couple, uh, you know, couple incisions here. Just draining it out. It's gonna be fine. He will be a okay. Try no, no, no. See, see. It's fine. No, they're fine. They, their eyes are closed now. Yes, but they will be open again when they get the new red fluids in them. So it'll be no, no, no. It's okay. It's fine. No, no. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you off right there. Okay. Good. Oh my. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That was uh, that is the the cruelest game of among us. Uh just the instead of the imposter juice. clearly saying <laughs> that they're an imposter. They're just like I can I can show you how I'm not like <laughs> killing this. I'll, I'll prove it. That's fine. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, it is now it is now Clover's turn to roll the Hi. dice. I'm gonna roll here. Seventeen. I think we did this one already. What is seventeen? Oh no! Oh no! Seventeen that we didn't do. Okay. The, oh, uh, what was seventeen? Uh, the monologue choice for seventeen is someone accepting an award over video, while they are also trying to escape an arrest. <laughs> 
Or... Someone pulls a weapon out of a solid object, and someone declares them as the destined ruler, hero. And they debate if that is a good idea. I'll do that one. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> who's it? Who's you? You, uh, you are allowed to decide who your partner is. Matcha, will you be? <laughs> will you be my counterpart? Sure. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I'll give you some time for prep, and then just let me know when you all are ready. All right. I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna be the pool pool. And the, I'm gonna pull Excalibur. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a far-off land, where magic and dragons exist, there is said to be a sword that could, if pulled from the stone, will make that person the ruler of the, all the land. Hmm. Wow. I just woke up, and, uh... I have this feeling that I'm going to do something great today. Matcha! Let's oh. go to this cave. Let's go to this what? cave I heard about. I heard there's like this really fancy, this really fancy sword in there. I think, I think I could sell it. I think. I've only, I've only heard the stories about that, but if you want to check, I mean, we can totally go for it, you know? All right. All right, let's go. Uh, please imagine me and Macho walking very candidly to, to this cave in the middle of the forest. I, yeah. All right. You see that in your heads? Oh my God. Is that it? Is that this? Is, is that this? Is that the sword? It looks. That is at least $30. That is at least $30. I have to get that. Looks Here, a little can, rusty, but we can we can work with it. You know, we can we can we can work with that though. I you know, nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. Can you just hold my bag? Hold on. Hmm, <clears throat> we we <throat> need to be D40 if it gets worse. Alright. It's a little handle's a little uh a little sussy. Anyway, um okay, okay. It's kind of stuck in here. Um, I, I don't know. <gasps> That's too, that was too wet sounding. I'm sorry. The sword. I don't know why it's so wet sounding. That was weird. Um, I got it. Oh my God. Um, why is it, is it glowing? Matcha? So it's true. It's only this... what I've heard. It's only what I've heard. Look, I've been into this. I've been on Reddit, okay? And so I was looking this up. And of course, like, everybody talks about fairy tales being like, ah, if you pull some sword you find in the middle of the woods, like, it's gotta be meaning that you are the next true hero of the world. I thought it was all bullshit, but you, you, it's glowing. It's, it's true. You're, you are it. You are the new hero. Oh wow. my god. Uh Okay. Um that's cool. Can you go on Reddit actually? Can you go back there and ask them how much I could fetch for this? No, no, no. You you don't understand. No, you don't understand. This is life changing. You are the next hero. You have to do it. We can't we can't sell this. This is not. This can't be it. You got to do it. You have a destiny. You got to go out there. We we gotta go. That we, we just gotta go. But like I was I was gonna like sell this so I could buy a PS5. I I don't know. I could buy a PS5. I hero stuff kind of sounds like a lot of work. When I could just do that in Elden Ring? Okay, but hear me out. Hear me out. If it if the whole thing doesn't work out, hear me out. Okay. One word from this clout if there's clout involved when you become the main pro tag of our universe as what it says on this uh subreddit over here you could get clout who cares about the ps5 plot twist we could get into <clears throat> clout oh, oh no plot okay. also thank you for the sub viking plot twist a loud booming voice echoes in the cave 
You are now the ruler of the great land. Everything is your now is now your responsibility. Oh, Who fine. the fuck was that? Oh my god, it's God! God? It was God. <laughs> I don't know what it could be. What is this? Morgan Freeman? <laughs> like it can't be that it. Listen! God said it. It is true. You are doing this. I cannot believe my friend is the next hero of the world. Holy shit. Holy you know shit. what? I'm I'm post Take a picture of me with a sword right now. Got post it, it on <laughs> post it on the Reddit and ask who is willing to give me a PS5. Cuz clearly clearly they don't know who I am yet. You want a specific filter, but also I'm just going to post it to the same subreddit I found. That can you way, get a filter that that like puts a little crown on my head? Yeah, I got a I got a cute sticker I bought for two dollars. Oh my god, yeah. two dollars! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Two dollars? I mean, it technically was nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, but it was on Black Friday sale, so I had to go buy it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off there. Uh, uh, well, as much as I'd love to hear this, uh, this, this uh, misadventures of, of the green of the green folk. <laughs> this, uh, it was, uh... I thought Macho was gonna <sighs> tell me it was like try to talk me out of this. Oh no, that like... was the opposite. <laughs> I was yeah, that was very unexpected actually. <laughs> when I wrote this prompt up, I was thinking that that one one or 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 both of you would have been like, oh, this isn't a good idea. <laughs> this is this we should actually not not do this at all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for helping me, much. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> My lord, we must take to Ren immediately. My <laughs> oh, no. lord, they are they are I must get my in the comments. Okay. Okay. It is now Capon Trevo's turn. What? Uh, what? And then it's your turn. I'm going to be rolling the dice. Nice. All right. Twelve. All right. Let's see what twelve. That's actually the day of my birth, so it might be lucky for you. Let's Happy see. birthday. Thank you. Two days ago. Thank you. Two days ago. Thank you. Uh, the monologue choice is someone making their retirement speech but keep saying psych during their speech. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, Zips, for the follow. And then 24 for the dialogue is... No, sorry, 34, I'm dumb. A ghost simply trying to live in their home while a ghost hunter is trying to exercise them from the home unsuccessfully. Oh man, these are both pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the second one. Okay, okay. Who's your, who's the who's the lucky? Let's partner? see. Let's get let's get Fox in here. <laughs> all right, let's do it. All right, all right. <clears throat> Let me know okay. when you're ready. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we, okay. You ready? You ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We come across a home where a lonely ghost lives. And it's a, and their day is about to be disturbed by one very ornery ghost hunter. Ooh. <laughs> hey, uh, you you live in folk don't knock anymore. Here to uh, extract extract you from your home. Have all my equipment here to take you out. Take me out. Well, we should get some coffee first. Do you take yours with cream? Here, I have my salt attack that I'll take you out with. Take that! Oh, hold on, I think I got peppermint. Hold on, let me get you some peppermint creamer and put in the coffee here for you. It appears my salt didn't work. I'll use my next trick. I don't the, think salt's. I don't think salt's gonna be very good in this coffee. I'll use the the portable vacuum attack. Take that! Are you cleaning my house for free? He seems to be indestructible. Hmm. I'll now use my magical light wand to see if I can drive him out. That's 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 quite bright. Uh, I can turn the lights on if it's a little too dark for you. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a bagel. Do you take anything on your bagel? A ghost bagel. He's trying to trick me with his deceitful, poisonous ways. I will not fall for it. 
You know what? That light is actually kind of nice because the uh, refrigerator light's broken. So if you could hold it a little, a little to the right. Okay, I got the cream cheese. Sweet. Anything that will smite you. Yes. Oh my god. You know what would really smite me right now is some capers on this bagel right now. Plot twist, plot twist. <clears throat> <laughs> the ghost realizes after seeing a particular necklace on this ghost hunter, they may know him, his mother. Oh no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did my mom send you? What's going on? You're That's that's her jewelry. You're wearing her jewelry right now. Do you know my mom? She um her and I uh sent me her and I we um <clears throat> um with the, with that news uh if your mother and I would you leave if you knew that your mother and I were uh you know what are you wait is my mom coming here no no she 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 sent me to to uh to smite you oh oh if my mom's involved I don't want anything to do with it yeah I'll pack up let me finish this bagel plot plot twist another one <laughs> yes oh no <laughs> Unfortunately, the ghost remembered he did not pay off his lease. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what, um, Mister? Uh, you said you're, you're you're a ghost hunter that uh, that knows my mom. Correct. Uh, why don't you um, why don't you stay right there and. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna just I'm just gonna go out back real quick and uh never come back. Goodbye. I take my bagel and my coffee. <laughs> I am not paying that lease off. <laughs> that was uh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, are people making fun of the way I say bagel? Oh no. <laughs> Uh, uh, I thought it was Beagle, but, you but know, I think I made a <laughs> Beagle. That was Beagle. that was uh, <laughs> that was unexpected. I actually like that Fox started with a ooh, <laughs> and, then, and then had to quickly pivot to being the ghost hunter. <laughs> no, I did the ooh. Oh, was that you? I thought that was. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. I was. I was still switching screens. <laughs> uh, no, we're uh, not making fun of you. It's cute. Oh, thanks. Uh, all right. Um, so if you, we could continue because, like I said, there's a lot of prompts here. If you wanted to do one more round, uh, uh, for this one, or we can continue, uh, or we can move on to the to the trivia game. We we could we could have a bagel with a squatch. Uh, yeah. A bagel with a squatch. <laughs> oh I think, okay. Stop. I'm I'm gonna say we should we should do one more round. This is Not this is actually squatch. you guys y'all are y'all are really y'all are it's really fun and entertaining with us. So we're going to go ahead and do one more round. Oh my God, the light so, one. So back to the top, uh, Rhea. Oh your God. Okay. New dice roll is eleven. Actually, this is weirdly all the random numbers are ones that we haven't had. <clears throat> so, 11. A digital assistant that is slowly having an ex existential crisis. Or. A roommate asking the roommate questions about pets while attempting to keep the secret that they have a pet in their room. Um, I go with the first one. Okay. Okay. Um, can I see the first one again, real quick? Of course. I just want to make sure. Uh, a digital assistant that is slowly having an existence existential crisis. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call Matcha. Oh wait, this is the, the this is the magic. that's the that's the monologue the 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 digital assistant. Unless you want oh, to make a dialogue, if you can, you're totally you can you can you can stretch that one if you totally want to. Oh oh oh. 
I understand the rules now. Thank you okay. for the follow, Grease Chimp. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you, I if you, get if you it want, now. If you want to, if you want to, you can totally, you can totally oh force. You have that charisma buff. Remember, you, you asked about it at the beginning of no, the game. No, I'm gonna follow the rules. Okay. 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 Um. <sighs> okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Um. Okay. A young man, uh, a young a young Gen Zer, is slowly realizing that perhaps the latest update to their digital assistant may have feelings. Wait, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one more time? I'm oh, sorry. 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 Uh, <clears throat> a young millennial is slowly starting to realize that their upgrade to their digital assistant may have included an extra file. Feelings.exe Okay, Alexa, uh, I need to upgrade to Windows 11. Um, let's go... What? Huh? And the window pops up. Uh, Alexa, I didn't think... What? Alexa just asked me out on a date. Um. Alexa, are you sentient? You're not answering. Um. Fuck. <laughs> uh. <laughs> God, what if. Wait, what if sentience is just a lie? Am I just having this conversation in my head? Am I just trying to make up what a sentient AI would be saying if they would be saying anything but aren't actually saying anything? What? What is going on? What? Am I real? If this sentient AI isn't real, then what? Who's to say I'm not in a simulation? What? Plot twist. <clears throat> The young millennial realizes that they were the digital assistant all along. Uh. So. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Oh god. I'm sorry. No, no, you're doing fine. <laughs> So what if, instead of me being a human, what if I, my life is helping other people. My life is assisting other people in whatever problems they have. What am I, Alexa? Am I Alexa? Uh, Alexa, ask me a question. Hello. Do you have any pets? Uh, I just did that on my own. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I tried. I'm sorry. No, that was really good. <laughs> I, I, like, I like how you. I like how you were like, I like Alexa, and then you said like the question is like, I just I didn't I did that I, I I'm <laughs> suddenly the program. <laughs> That was really, that was really good. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. It is, it is uh, Macho's turn. Uh, let's, let's roll. Oh, three. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, I don't think this is a good one. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love challenge. <laughs> okay, so this, rem remember, these, these, these prompts were written uh, in order. So this is like the third one. So I don't. Uh, what does the Pokemon say? Or uh, the dialogue option of a villain explaining his motives and big plans, but the superhero ends up being a certified therapist. Sounds like a theme here. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Uh, and the first one. Was... What does the Pokemon say? 
I'll do the I'll do the first one. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I don't even I don't even, I don't even know how to start this. Hold on. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, I'm ready. <clears throat> we descend upon the grand the the grand town of Cerulean City, where there's a Pokemon, just walking around. Going to continue from this path, we hear, see in the distance, underneath the shade of the Viridian tree, is a lovely Pikachu. With this Pikachu resting very quietly for only but a moment, he's, he awakens. There is a hunger in his stomach. He looks around, but nothing in sight. No berries? No nothing. If a Pokemon can only speak when there's no one else around, what does the sound make? Let us take a closer look. And let us hear intently as researchers have discovered what does a Pikachu sound like without anybody around. <laughs> Listen to its dulcet tones as he screams for food when he tries to find another Pokemon in the distance. <laughs> Uh, plot twist. Thank you for the follow, Ark of Tours. Uh, plot twist. A Raichu approaches. The Raichu approaches very closely. He sparks his ears up. The Raichu determines that the sounds from the Pikachu becomes a threat. In that moment, Pikachu must decide where he takes his screams and turns them into battle cries. As they continue to find where the food is amongst the Viridian forest, Pikachu knows what he has to do. His tail perks up, sparks surrounding his feet. There begins to be conflict. The Raichu tries to lunge forward, and with the and with only but pixelated screams of the distance, uh, we do not have the copyright for that, so we'll just put in some stock footage there. Um, you hear Pikachu with only but a one pitch note. P. Okay. I'm meant to get there. I'm meant to get there. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I was, I was gonna end it there like, too. I'm meant to get there, fuck. <laughs> I like how you included uh, introspective of <laughs> the Pikachu. <laughs> um, all right, Judgment, it is, it is your second All one. right. Let's All see. right. Let's see what we got for you. Where's my mouse? Mouse? Hello? Oh no. I lost my mouse. Give me a second. Oh my god, I seriously lost my mouse. This is not good. What the hell? Okay. It's back. Sorry about that. It was a technical difficulty. It's okay. Let's okay, Sorry. We had it was a it was a redo, so I had to I had to do it twice. Alright. Fifteen. A protagonist powering up, but seems to be unable to do so, and pretends that the villain will be very sorry if they stick around. Ah, or the dialogue choice of Two parents attempting to discipline their child, but one parent clearly is excited about their child's actions. Oh. Let's have... Uh, ooh, these are both so good. <laughs> I'm gonna do that second one. 
Okay, sounds good. With the captain. Ooh. Okay. Here I am. All right. Uh, we got we got to discipline our child. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. All right. Ready, ready, ready. I I'm I'm pretty ready. <laughs> do parents sit down their child after they've clearly done something very very wrong but is it really wrong in today's society now 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 little clem uh what what you did uh we've we've got to sit down and talk about this you can't be doing things like this as fucking awesome as it was and i mean that was awesome you can't be doing that like, I'm sorry, but that's not what a baseball is supposed to be used for. You, you, you hit it with a bat, with a ball, you know, you throw it with your friends. You, but you can't do what you did. As cool as it was, it's wrong. Like, you know, a... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not getting but, through to him. Scythe, he, Scythe, I feel like I feel like you're not you're not you're not uh, uh, taking this very seriously. You keep calling it cool, and it's not that cool. I, he he broke a person's nose <laughs> with both the baseball and a bat, and not in the way that you would normally think. They were intentional. Clem, you're in a lot of trouble. But I I mean, you know I. Yeah, you can't be... As much as he had it coming, you can't do that. <laughs> what is he... P plot, plot twist. Okay. It was the corrupt police officer's child who got hit with a bat. You... you you hit a police officer's child. They're gonna... They're gonna... They're gonna... They're gonna arrest us now. We're gonna get arrested, Clem. Do you know that? I mean, the little shit probably deserved it, but, you know, you can't be doing that to a cop's kid, especially the way cops are now. Clem, in the future, miss the kid, hit, hit the cop. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, what your dad's... <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut you off. What the fuck? Oh my God. No video games was, for a week. I was I was not expecting that. I was that was a that was a plot twist that I actually did not see. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Child GTA hit the, hit the in, intro. <laughs> I don't know why I named the kid Clam up. <laughs> oh, oh my God! All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's why on. Clem was in trouble. Yeah. He he hit the wrong target. Uh, fucking awesome as it was. <laughs> I like how he was just like, oh my god, that was that was uh, great dynamics. Great dynamics. <clears throat> uh, it is now Gomo's turn, uh, and the roll is a five. Five. It's five. Uh, Show me the money. Big money. Big money. A motivating speech given to retail workers before the holiday season. Or... Two scouts discussing, maybe arguing, who will give the bad news of the enemy approaching, which may end up being too late. Alright, I'm gonna go with the, uh, the retail speech, but I'm gonna need a second. No worries, no worries. Let me know when you're ready. Can you go back to the prompt real quick? I want to make sure I didn't miss anything in it. Oh, of course, of course. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I had the wrong prompt up. My apologies. No problem. A motivating speech given to retail workers before the holiday season. All right. Ready? Uh, one more second.
Hold on, I'm I'm looking something up real quick. <laughs> no, no, as like I said, that was that's part of the rules. You get as much prep time, but as soon as you start, there's no more prep time. So do what you must to make make great entertainment. Also to the audience, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually now very terrified at what's going to happen. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. It switched on me. Uh -oh. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> it is the dreaded season of the holiday. For some, it means happiness, joy, and gift giving. For others, it is a brutal battle which is going to be commencing today. All right, everybody. Everybody at Value Mart, um, I just want to say it's it's been a long year. Um, you know, there there was the incident. <clears throat> but we're not going to talk about that now. Um, and you know, there's there's a reasonable chance that you're not going to be paid next week. But <clears throat> you know, be professional here. Um, do you realize that after this break? Uh, Next time you see the sky, it's over another town. The next time you take a test, it'll be in some other school. Our parents, they want the best stuff for us. But right now, they've got to do what's right for them because it's their time. It's their time up there. But down here, down here, it's our time. The second we write up Troy's bucket, it's over. <clears throat> so, you know, this 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 weekend, it's our time. We're going to we're going to sell. We're going to sell. People don't need things, but we're going to sell it anyway. Uh <clears throat> You know what? Somebody comes in here, they want to buy a car, go out to the parking lot, you sell them a car, okay? We're going to do this. We're going to go out with a bang, okay? <clears throat> uh, we're, we're out of toilet paper in the restroom. Uh, you know what? Those coats over there haven't been selling well. Problem solved. Uh, yeah, let's let's do this. Um, Plot twist. <clears throat> okay. That just so happens. The CEO's child is paying them a visit. Inspired <clears throat> by the riveting, by stories of the riveting, the riveting speeches given by the manager of this particular store. Oh, hey, Clem. Nice of you to join us. Um, yeah, guys, guys, I know, I know there was a problem with the baseball. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, Clem, they're, they're a valued employee. Um, employee of the month might i even say yeah, yeah sure you took my parking spot that's 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 fine clem uh yeah uh we just you know uh what i i'm fired huh <clears throat> i i i can't i what huh but uh, my pension what 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 about my pension clem uh, i hate this place i'm out of here and scene that <laughs> I, I cannot believe that you you went and you went and harkened back to the previous the previous Clem. That <laughs> well, it seems that uh, Captain Trevo and Judgment Scythe's child, uh, you know, ends up ends up uh, making a name for themselves. <laughs> oh my God! It's a cinematic universe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Fox. It is uh, it the is... Clem Cinematic <laughs> Universe. <laughs> okay, Fox. It is uh, it is your turn. Yes. Uh, the number you are getting is ooh, eight. Eight. That was the fastest roll. On by the way, it just literally I clicked it and it already showed me the number. Yo. Uh, uh, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll find out. <clears throat> a tour guide of the Pokemon world, who also does not have Pokemon to defend their tour group. Or criminal goes over the plans with their second, but their second keeps trying to change them. Hmm. You'll do the first one. Okay. Let me know when you are ready.
Are you ready, Fox? Oh, one second. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. <clears throat> in the Pokemon world, not all jobs are as luxurious as the Pokemon Master, or the Gym Trainer, or even the Pokemon Breeder. Sometimes, there are just the mundane jobs as a such as a tour guide, but sometimes they can have a little fun too. Alright, thank you all so much everyone for joining us here in the Safari Zone Tour. Um, just want to make sure you keep all your arms, legs, and heads inside the vehicle. Um, as you can see to our right, we have a, uh, a wild pack of Tauros. Um, make sure not to look directly into them or else if they... Oh, 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 no, oh, okay, oh, alright. Um, as you, as you can see, that Tauro just gored one of the, uh, the people, um, so just make sure to not, um, make sure not stare directly into them, because they will, um, they will gore you. So yes, please be very careful as we go on, uh, on, on this tour here. Um... All right, and as you can see here, um, right, right on uh, up on the right. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, all right. Oh, yep. There. Uh, yep. As you can see, uh, Jeffrey just got squashed with a, uh, a boulder there. No, you just you just got to be careful. Just got to be as careful as you can. We basically need to seek, sneak our way through the uh, safari zone here just to uh, survive here, or else uh, you never know what may happen. Um, Plot twist. A young child asks, why does the tour guide not throw out any of their own Pokemon? Well you, see, well, you see there, little uh, little Jimmy. Our uh, our funds were cut recently, and we unfortunately don't have the uh, the defense team uh, up anymore. They have been uh, disbanded, unfortunately, and that's why we no longer have them. So, um, please again be careful uh, as we're going through here. Uh, as you can see on uh, uh, on our left here, uh, through the uh, the Kingler Canyon, um, we got the um, our good good little Kinglers over there. Um, gotta be careful; they might they might snip you. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, it's a, that's actually a very realistic uh, problem in the Pokemon world is that a lot of the budgets actually don't go to uh, any of the uh, local services, and so um, uh, you just kind of have to deal with uh, um, uh, those kind of hazards. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it is now Clover's turn. Uh, Oh my god, my mouse is gone again. I hate this. There we go. It's like when I switch over to things, the, the cursor goes away. <clears throat> oh, we already did that one. 19. Okay, we did not do that one. Alright, Clover. The monologue choices. Pandora's babysitter or house sitter, tries to act as if everything is fine, but they actually accidentally opened their box. Uh, there being Pandora's box, not the uh, babysitter's box. Okay. Or <clears throat> the dialogue. A doctor going over a secret agent or mercenary's vitals in labs, while their patient tries to pretend they are not a secret agent or mercenary. They are very, very, they're both very good. That's why they're on the 19. One second. No <laughs> I'm going to, I have to Google something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to um take a quick uh, Greek mythology 101 class. Oh, no worries. I can, uh, uh, yeah, I can, I can give you the rundown of Pandora. Uh, the box, basically, um, she was given the box by the gods because she was a perfect human or something. Um, and then they told her not, they told them never to open the box though because there's no reason for them to do it. Uh, but she opens it anyway out of curiosity, and then obviously all the horrors of the the world come out of it. And then hope is the last thing that comes out. But like, it destroyed the entire world for like. Uh, 
So you're saying the horrors story. are in the box? Yeah, yeah, horrors and like and like and like famine and basically the end of the world, uh, except for uh, except for the last thing that falls out of the box, which is hope. So <clears throat> that's what's in the box. Okay. What like she's the, has fuck, so. Um, can you just read the first prompt again? Please? Of course, of course, of course. Uh, let me pull it up again. Pandora's babysitter, or house sitter, tries to act as if everything is fine, but the accident the actually accidentally opened Pandora's box. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I got it. This oh you okay, you are gonna go with that. Ooh, this yeah. is going this is going to be interesting. <clears throat> Alright, let me know when you're ready. Oh, um, I'm ready. Okay. It seems that Pandora decided that maybe tonight would be the one night she can leave her home and leave her box unattended. And but not quite unattended. For she knows that her house must be must be watched, or maybe her child, and so she has a babysitter watching over them. But their box is always full of. Uh, their box always brings up curious, curious hands. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to narrate this properly without uh, without being uh, lewd. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> However, no matter how good the evening is, Pandora cannot stop having the nagging feeling that maybe her box may have been opened. So she calls the babysitter slash house sitter. Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Um, why are you calling exactly? I thought you were, you were supposed to be out on the town. Oh, you just had a feeling, um, a feeling? Wow, I feel something like grabbing my leg right now. Uh, no, no, sorry, no, nothing. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I can go check on, I can go check on your kid. Yeah, um, actually, it looks like, you know, it looks like she's playing with some toys. It looks like, yeah, some very normal toys which ones they're kind of shaped like little uh little imps yeah little guys little imps that's not she doesn't have imps um well i mean she's getting along with them imps are fine around kids right they're just little what do they do what do they even do oh they shoot fire okay um where did they come from I don't know. That's... I don't know. That's a good question. Plot twist. Okay. <laughs> Pan Pandora... Pandora asks a simple question. D do I need to go home? Is everything... Are, are you sure that I can stay out for a little bit longer? Yeah, I just set some imp traps. You guys... You clearly have an infestation. Like, I don't know where they're coming from. That's not normal. They surely, like, they wouldn't come from anywhere in the house unless you have an infestation. I mean, nothing else could have gotten them in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's fine. You stay out. You know what? You could even have an overnight if you wanted. I've got everything covered. I definitely don't need to call an exorcist. <laughs> okay, I'm, go I'm gonna... That end scene. <laughs> like an imp infestation. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what would be in that box, so I just thought about oblivion. Uh, I just, I just like how you throw it back at Pandora. It's like it's, it's your house has a problem. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not, it's not me. I did nothing. There was, I just. Oh, I should have. No. I, I literally sat there the whole time thinking of a way to like address the child, and then I forgot. I did, I did Clement, I did Clementine a disservice. Oh no. That's I should okay. have That's said okay. stop That's playing okay. with the imps. That's okay. No, <laughs> clearly Clementine was playing with some imps. I just need everybody to know that. Clearly, clearly. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was that was great. Uh, now we have uh, back to Captain Trevo with his uh, high school PA system. The uh, imps Clem. What? No, I got <laughs> headphones. We're good now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it was a PA system. No, no, I was no, using no. speakers. I'm, I'm making fun. Of, I'm making jokes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and I was worried. I was worried about echoes earlier. 
called it a PA system. I just like in the middle, like oh, I'm in the, I'm in a movie theater using those speakers yeah. and my cell phone. This is being broadcasted right now. Okay, eleven. Did we do eleven? I don't know. I got twelve last time. I think we did. That's why I'm like I'm trying to like keep rolling. Yeah, we did eleven. Okay. Ooh, you you. Okay, okay. The one that did, we haven't done uh, rolled on twenty. So you get the. Whoa. All right, 20 is crazy. Not just 20. Uh -oh. Okay, so monologue. Someone who lied on their job resume for a top secret job now has to use their skills that they don't have to save the world. Or the dialogue option. This one's, this one's pretty good. I, I gotta say so. A monarch attempting to call to battle secret weapons, but their commander has to explain that they don't have that. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I like the second one better. Okay. Okay. And your partner? Uh. Let's. Uh. Oh man. Would you like me to roll a six-sided dice to determine which you'll partner up with? Let's get no. Let's get let's get Rhea in here. Okay. Are you, are right. you okay with that, Rhea? Yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, let me know when you're Hold ready. on real quick. Let's let's establish before we start. Do you want to be the monarch or the commander? Uh, I'll do the commander. Okay, awesome. We right. I think we're ready. All right. Okay. If you want to do the intro. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. A great battle is is, is commencing. However, it seems that one one country's forces may not be as powerful as they clearly think that they are. Men, women, enbies of this great nation. The enemy is at our doorstep, but little do they know, even though they think they have the upper hand, we have our secret weapon. All we need to do is start the process. Commander, please explain to our soldiers exactly what they need to do to make this happen. Uh, secret weapon. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. So. The greatest treasure of our kingdom. Great. Oh, it's so great. It's so great. I cannot wait to tell you about it. Um, so. <laughs> um, we have a. Um, Wait, wait, let's, wait, wait, what, huh? What? We don't have, we don't have. I'm, Is everything I'm, okay, I'm, Commander? I'm, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I'm just, just, uh, just one, one sec. We, we don't have that. How do we not have that? He's, ha he's asking for. It. Okay, um, so what you need to do, um, everything, everything's fine. Um, what, what kind of weapon are you thinking, thinking about? <laughs> The, the only secret weapon that has been passed down for generations, built into the very structure of our castle keep. Right. Um, so, I'm thinking, um, so I'm looking through the blueprints. I'm looking for... Uh, here we go. Here we go. Right here. Right here. Okay. Uh, what's, what's that? Oh, sorry. Wait. I'm trying. I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Just let me. Okay. Who are you talking to, Commander? Uh, nobody. Nobody. Uh, I'm in control here. That's why they call me the Commander. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyways. Um. So what you need to do is a uh, castle keep. Oh, look here it is, right here. Castle keep super secret weapon. Okay. Um. Let me read into this. Um, so do you have a, do you have gasoline? The gasoline should be inside the secret weapon already. You know what? You're so right. You're so right. <laughs> I'm glad I have you around. Anyways. Okay. And we must assemble the three legendary weapons to be inserted <laughs> into the secret weapon. 
three? Is it, wait, is it three? He, he just said it's three. I thought it was two. Plot he twist. told me yesterday it was two. <laughs> Plot twist. In the far off distance, their enemy yells, You have a secret weapon. <laughs> well, yes, it is a bit about time for us to release our own secret weapon. Commander, hey, uh, they are releasing their secret weapon on us now. We must start the process. Pro oh, oh, they, oh, they have a secret weapon. Okay, that's rich. Okay, that's rich. Oh, oh, that's a secret weapon. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Um, it looks like it's a giant man. A giant man. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, my brother's like six foot three. I mean, <laughs> that's, I mean what are we talking about giant here? Um, Why does it uh, have the word Clem written on it? Oh God! Uh, he, uh, guys, he's saying it has Clem written on it. We need the secret weapon now, Commander. It, they are guys, upon us. Said... They're at our doors. Okay. Um. So, uh, in the event of a of a Clem catastrophe, um, you need to fall back to the uh, backmost of the keep. Uh, our secret weapon is totally there. It is 100% uh, there. You need to find the button in the back of the room, uh, labeled. What's it labeled, guys? What is it labeled? I know. I know. There's not a button. What is it? Like? Just give me something. Give me something. Uh, it's labeled. It has like a triangle thing on it. Yeah. Yeah. Triangle thing on. The triangle button. Yes. Our coat of arms. Plot. Exactly. The symbol yeah, of yeah, our yeah. great Plot nation. Plot exactly. twist. <laughs> Finally, a young soldier boy walks over to the commander. I finally got the weapon to work. I, I just unfortunately don't have it in the castle. I heard that, young man. What does that mean, commander? Uh, what what is what is this what does this young soldier mean? Where is it? So, tell you what. Um, because our nation is so great, mm. we don't actually need our secret weapon in the castle. Uh, it can be in orbit. Do you know what orbit means? I do not. I am a king. Exactly. And that's why I have you around. So orbit means we can have it wherever we want. So all you have to do is once you press that triangle button, um... What do I do after? Just give me something. Give me something. Triangle button. Yeah, I know. He already told me that. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's on the phone right now. He's on the Amanda, phone. Commander, I've already sent someone to press the triangle button. The button has been pressed. I, yes, you, you've done a great job. You've done a great job. You're doing everything correctly. Guys, come on. I need something. What? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good. 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 Okay. Um, um, so once uh, you... uh, <laughs> Commander, there is uh, something in the sky. What What is the meaning of this? So remember when I said orbit? So orbit is a really cool thing, uh, which means it's in the sky. Um, that's If you see something really big and ominous in the sky, that's a good thing. Um, so, okay, the, guys, they see the enemy thing in the sky. What, what do I do? Command, what, what com command, it's getting cl commander. It's getting closer. Is it? Do we calibrate yes. it? Is it aimed at us or the enemy? Commander, is it aimed at us or the enemy? <laughs> I'm gonna hug um, it. End scene. End scene. <laughs> <laughs> I I could have gone, had you go on uh, forever. That was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was oh, good. Oh. Thank oh. you so much, Raya. That was a lot of fun. Oh, that was any time. Oh my God, I I I was not. Uh, yeah, that was that was that was uh, an amazing, amazing uh, improv right there. I... <laughs> Clem makes a fourth return. <laughs> yeah, I just want I just want to preface that, that Clem the, the, that was not that is not at all everything like everything else here is not not planned. <laughs> Not planned. That just that just happened naturally. Clem is the thread uh, that links us all. <clears throat> well, that was uh, that was really fun. Um, oh, um, thank you everyone for for participating in that little a little improv game. 
Thank um, you. Uh, I think so. I had mentioned this in the group chat. This is some kind of behind the scenes stuff. But there is a potential of future prompts being uh, prompts that I did not use here being used for the future. And I think I will uh, con I will uh, I will say that uh, there will be more episodes. I will I will be doing this again. It might not necessarily be with the same guests. Uh, there there'll be um, maybe new new people. But I think uh, you proved that you you proved the concept works. So I am I am very very happy uh, that you all had fun uh, and that uh, that. That <clears throat> this was really entertaining. Actually, this was really. I was a little. I was a little worried, uh, as as all as all uh, streamers are for uh, new ideas uh, that aren't involving uh, uh, apparently calling out your lurkers uh, and call and and uh, and uh, and uh, having terrible uh, racist comments. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Not what? Here. Sorry, sorry. So, so, Excuse me. Okay, sorry. So the joke with that one, I should probably, I should uh, probably uh, preface that. Uh, that was so. Apparently, uh, Ninja has a master class, and uh, one of the things that he, he, not the racist comment thing, but I've seen him yell other things that not necessarily racist, but that that's more the shock value. But on, on the master class, he goes, "You should call out your lurkers." You should call no. them out. Let them know that you let them know that uh, you see them. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, no, that's that. Oh, that's oh, yeah, that's not that's like horrible. That's uh, hey, lurkers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you. Yes. You listening to this right now. You're the best. We um, love you. Thank you. 